All right, what's going on everyone on YouTube? And yes, we're walking through Friday here on Body Bags. I am your host, Jeremy, AKA NES Ruler 22. And welcome to my review of the 2013 South Korean, uh, you know, uh, I guess you could say like a virus contamination type film, Flu. Now, if you guys follow me on either the 22 Shots of Moods and Horror podcast page or Twitter, I talked about this a little bit over there. And, uh, you know, I was at Walmart, you know, I usually don't even look at the movies because, you know me, I'm a cheapo and I don't like to spend, you know, too much money on films. But, you know, I was like, what the fuck? I walked down the aisle and, you know, this caught my eye. I picked it up, I read the back, and I was like, I, I gotta buy that. I gotta pick this up. So, um, it's basically, uh, basically about, um, a city in South Korea that, uh, you know, is a pretty big city. I think there's like 400,000 people living in the city. And one night there is a storage container filled with these people who have this virus uh, shipped there. And, uh, you know, obviously somebody's into it about why this shipping container is actually there. So the people who, you know, are expecting the shipping container go there, uh, you know, open it up, and everyone's dead from this virus besides this one guy who uh, unfortunately escapes the shipping container and spreads this virus throughout the city. And uh, so then it cuts forward a little bit, and we follow this uh, kind of like a paramedic uh, type character over there in South Korea and we follow him as he rescues this woman from a car accident and of course he starts to fall for this woman from this uh, for this woman who we later figure out is a doctor at one of the main doctors at the hospital in the city and she has this child who uh, does a fucking such a great job, you know, in this film, you know, she's, she's little, I think she's probably five or six, she does such a fucking brilliant job in this film for what the content was, so, of course, these, this virus goes viral, and everyone in the city starts getting, uh, infected, but, see, with these films, I love these virus-type films running rampant in cities, because, you know, they don't come back to life like zombies or anything like that. You know, once you get the virus and shit goes wrong and you die, you're dead, you know. And it's this total mass, mass, uh, you know, you know, mass death counts. And, you know, it's just really, a really interesting concept in subgenre of horror because, you know, it can actually fucking happen, you know. It has happened over the history of time in, uh, the human race. So it's just really interesting about how a virus could spread so quickly and kill so many people and how the people, the government who, you know, are supposed to take care of us handle the situations that unfold after this virus starts to spread. So, of course, uh, they're trying to chase this guy who survived this virus, so he obviously has some sort of antibodies or something, uh to this virus, so they're chasing him around as mass mayhem starts to occur, and the paramedic is put in charge of watching this woman's child as she tries, you know, she's the main doctor, so she's quite busy trying to solve uh, what is happening to, you know, the city. So, uh, of course, the little girl gets infected, and they're trying to find a uh, find the person with the antibodies to uh, cure, of course, her child first, and then the rest of the city. And of course, as it goes on, shit starts to go down more and more and more. And you know, these people who are not infected get put in this like uh, internment camp. And the people who are infected, uh, I'm not going to spoil what happens to them, but. It's pretty fucking messed up, and um, I thought this film was was truly one of the best, uh, you know, deadly virus films I've seen, and maybe one of the best 
uh, horror films that I've seen this year so far. I fucking loved it, and to surprisingly, on a blind buy, nonetheless, um, it's, it was just really well done, and the amount of extras they had to have to make this film was just mind-blowing, and the sets and the gore and everything else was just fucking brilliantly awesome, and I highly, 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 highly recommend you guys check out Flu. It's just really good, and I hope this movie gets a little bit more talk than what it has. Um, you know, some of you guys are probably going to watch it and say I'm fucking insane, but it's just, it's just really, really well done, and um, I would recommend it all the way. Uh, my highest recommendation on this one, for sure. I, I seriously... Really, 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 really enjoyed this one. So, um, if you guys get the chance, definitely check out Flu. It's it's truly, truly well done and truly a story where you actually feel for the characters, which you don't see uh, many day uh, many films like that these days. You know, indie horror wise. So. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the film Flu. Please check it out. I liked it a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, I'm not going to get my rating for it yet. If you guys want to hear my rating for this, uh, listen to the Sunday night, which will be posted Monday for the 22 Shots of Moods and Horror podcast, where I'll be talking about this film more and talking about my ratings and what I think of this film. So thanks again, everybody, for watching. Um, Next week, I shall be, as you guys, you know, I've been following either here on Body Bags or over on my channel or over on Moods' channel, even the podcast. Uh, me and Moods are heading to Cinema Wasteland next weekend. Moods is coming here to Chicago on Wednesday night, and he's staying all the way until the following Saturday. So he's here for 11 days, which is going to be quite fucking awesome. And uh, Friday through Sunday... Heading to Cinema Wasteland, gonna have fucking a blast, gonna shoot a lot of footage, shit like that. Then we're gonna come back here to Chicago, spend the whole week fucking around, you know. Uh, Monday and Tuesday, I'm planning to take him to all the places I hunt at. Uh, you know, there's quite a lot of places. It's definitely gonna be a two-day major event, so I'm gonna film every single thing of that, you know, like I usually do when I go into place, come out. And we're going to talk about what we picked up in that place and all that shit. And yeah, so I hope you guys look forward to that around the third week of April or so. Uh, it's going to take a lot of, a lot of time editing through all that footage and stuff like that because it's going to be, you know, probably a few hours long, to be honest, once it's all said and done. So it's going to be quite a fun video. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys want to see that, you could either see it on my channel, youtube.com slash NESWiver22, of course, or you can probably see it on Moods' channel. I have no idea what Moods is planning to do, if he's going to shoot from a different angle on his camera or what's going to go on with that, but that's pretty much the plan for these next two Fridays for me here on Body Bags. I'm probably going to just do my reviews earlier on in the week, do my two reviews for these two weeks, and then uh, figure out when to upload them. I'll probably upload them uh, Friday before we leave for Wasteland, and then the next Friday ain't a big deal. I'll probably have time during the day to upload that. So stay for, stay tuned for those two weeks. Uh, we got a video nasty theme week coming up soon, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Going to be talking about some video nasty. Still haven't decided what I'm going to watch yet, but uh, I think you guys shall enjoy that. Once again, thanks everybody for watching. Have a safe weekend. And uh, thanks again for watching me. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at twitter.com slash NESRuber22. Talk to you guys again next Friday with another review. See you guys.